Attorney General Loretta Lynch said Thursday at the Muslim Advocates' 10th anniversary dinner, she will take aggressive action against the incredibly disturbing rise of anti-Muslim rhetoric. Actions predicated on violent talk are not America. They are not who we are, they're not what we do, and they will be prosecuted. Lynch did not clarify what actions predicated on violent talk means and did not draw a line between constitutionally protected free speech and violence. She also did not pinpoint individuals or groups she believes participate in violent talk. Judge Andrew P. Napolitano notes, the willingness alone to use violence is not criminal. It is only the actual use of violence that is. Thus, it is the manifestation of hatred as lawless violence that may be prosecuted. But the manifestation of hatred as a unifying idea is protected and may not be prosecuted. The First Amendment absolutely bars the government from interference from a person's thoughts or associations prior to any violent activity. Lynch's recent grandstanding before a Muslim group reveals the Justice Department and the Obama administration are promoting the so-called social justice agenda at the expense of the Constitution and the First Amendment. It also underscores the collectivist idea that government has the authority, enforced by its monopoly of coercion and violence, to protect the rights of preferred groups at the expense of the rights of the individual. Meanwhile, the female shooter in San Bernardino posted her allegiance to ISIS on Facebook, while Obama constantly inappropriately takes jabs at the Christian faith. Remember that during the Crusades and the Inquisition, people committed terrible deeds in the name of Christ. Less than loving expressions by Christians? I get concerned. That's right. Let's criticize Christianity on Easter, you piece of crap. That's topic for another day. Why are we supposed to be politically correct while our traditions, rights, country, and very lives are increasingly threatened on a daily basis? What's your name? I am Loretta Elizabeth Lynch. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. On which I am about to enter. Of which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me. Attorney General Loretta Lynch, you do remember swearing in on Frederick Douglass's Christian Bible at your request. You do know it was Frederick Douglass who famously said, I would unite with anybody to do right and with nobody to do wrong. The protection of religious freedom is the cornerstone of American society. And of course, not all Muslims are hell-bent on jihad, but it turns out a percentage of them are. And those psychopaths are in the United States and mixed in with the refugees streaming in as I speak. And they have no clue what American civil rights are, nor do they care. No, 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 no. Hey, li listen, you're in my house. No, President Obama, this is our house. John Bound for InfoWars.com. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday? Got a potential Fort Hood situation. The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking a hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or 
were accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the Infowar to the next level.